Hello again, my name is Ben, here on today with another set review, and here I have with me today the LEGO Dino set number 5883 or 5883-1 Tower Takedown. The set was released in 2012, the retail price of 1999 USD, 136 pieces, and one minifigure. So here is basically the next um set in the uh LEGO Dino lineup in terms of like you know piece and count wise and price wise. So, starting off with the minifigure, singular minifigure once again. This time, again, these figures have no names, but this is the Dino um, helicopter pilot. You see here, it's got a nice olive green jumpsuit um, with a bit of dark brown printing on the suit. The, the straps and a few tranquilizer rounds. You also see he has the dark brown on the waist here. And then, no leg printing. Pretty basic printing on the back, the Dino logo. Um, no double-sided face print. There's just one sort of concerned expression with a little bit of sweat. And then he's got a pilot helmet with um, some goggles. Pretty basic figure, not much to go over. You know, it's all right. Next, the dinosaur of the set. Get the pterodactyl, I believe, is what it's meant to be. Pteranodon, perhaps, which is what it's also been referred to as. Um, there's two of these that come in the LEGO Dino Wave, and this design has been used since then in different designs. But this one here is using a nougat color with a little bit of a, uh, with a little bit of dull molding in brown. You can see the sort of blending of the two colors on the wings here, which looks pretty nice. Um, very organic kind of look to it. See little, some clips on the back for it to hold stuff, some studs on the back of its back. And then for the head... It's made of this rubber material, um, very rubbery material, and it, it's attached in two parts. You can move up and down. See some printing on it there, and a little bit of red printing on it as well. Um, not much else to say about it. Pretty, de pretty good design. I like it quite a bit. Simple and to the point. Very good dinosaur look. Now for the side build, you know, there's a little boat. This, whole, this tower is meant to take up place on a bit of like a dock or a bit of a watery area, so it makes sense to have a little bit of a boat build here. Not really much to say about it, it's very basic, but, you know, it's just something else to add to the set. Um, see some yellow and some dark red axle force finger for the hand, handle. Not much to say about it, it's pretty dull. As for the tower itself, it was only one of the two place set designs that we got from the wave. It's meant to be on some watery area, which is why some of these base plates are blue. And see built on them, some sort of, are meant to be like logs, I imagine. These sort of brown, um, round peak bricks here. Which is a pretty nice effect, simple and to the point. Top, see some gray walking, um, walkway. Um, there's a ladder to get up from presumably the boat. A little weapons rack, or like a weapon holder here. It's meant to hold, you know, things like a radio, or the weapon that the guy has. You can just put there, if you so desire. Bit of a weird design. It's got this so uh, weird translucent round piece there with a tile on top. Some guard railing here, a ladder, and then for the tower itself, there really isn't much inside here. Just a gap, and it's pretty basically built up some basic bricks and some of these large support beam pieces. But the second floor has a little control panel, which if you can get in there well enough, you see a little pterodactyl screen. On the front here, you'll see one of those big, or the small, ugly, ugly rock piece in brown here. A few leaves for just added look to it. And up top here, on the Exo Force Finger and a lightsaber blade, you see a fish which is meant to bait out the pterodactyl. Inside here, you can see what could be the indication of perhaps expanding these sorts of displays, because these do attach with these sort of um, pins here. So perhaps that was an intent of the builders. Um, radar dish on this side looks all right. Nice dark red dish piece. More of the support beam building up the design. Window here, and then for the top here you see some lights. And then for the main real feature of the set, it's turret build. You kind of can rotate 360 degrees. Can't really look up or down, which does seem a bit not good for going against a pterodactyl. But some random sort of details on the side, like spikes and the lights, I guess. Um, overall looks all right, but the main feature on the back here you push this then That did went well <laughs> 10 out of 10 feature, but what's meant to happen is this net is supposed to pop out and catch the dinosaur Which you know 
you can argue is effectiveness, but whatever, it's a toy. Um, kind of a basic feature, you know. I would say, personally, if you ask me, this, feature, this set is a little bit lacking in play features. I would have preferred probably a bit more interactive ability, like flick fire missiles somewhere. I don't know. It's a little bit of a complaint. But with all that being said, it kind of does it for the set. Um, pretty simple, you know. Just, a one in, just another one of these dino sets to sort of add to your sort of forces. I feel like it's not one of the like, really substantial ones, despite being the only other playset sort of build. It is very simplistic in its design, and I I think, I, I, I'll be honest, you probably skip out on this one. Um, is it worth the $20? I think it's a fair, fair-ish, um, for what you're getting for $20. Um, especially compared to, like, what you get nowadays. But, um, still, I probably rec wouldn't recommend, like, absolutely jumping on the set back then, and definitely not now. After worker prices can be pretty crazy, but, um, overall, I think it's an alright set. Um, with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you start to the next time for lots of time to upload. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and goodbye.